What up, Smart Rapper? Today we're talking about how to professionally send a Pro Tools session, okay? What, what this is, is this is how you're going to actually export Both. a copy of the Pro Tools session that you recorded your song in so that you can send it off to a mix engineer or a mastering engineer professionally so there's no confusion on their end. This is how you actually do it. This is how I was shown to do it by top level people in the industry and how to send it off. So I'm gonna go to a screencast and I'm gonna show you how to do that. It's super easy. Let me get to the intro first though. Don't knock my awesome, knock my awesome, knock my awesome. Okay, I'm gonna read into a screencast to show you how to export your Pro Tools session. Real quick, real easy. All you're gonna do is you're gonna go into Pro Tools and what we're gonna do here is we're going to actually replicate the actual session. It's gonna copy all the session files and create a folder from it. And it's super easy. Go into your Pro Tools session. You're gonna go to File. Then you're gonna click Save Copy In, okay? And you're gonna see this here. It's probably gonna be 24 bit. Your settings may differ depending on your session and how you wanna do it, but these are typically going to be the settings. Okay, so the bit depth is gonna be 24 bit. And then what you wanna do is here is you wanna click All Audio Files. So it says Items Copy, All Audio Files. This is gonna make a duplicate of every single audio file that you had in that session, okay? Then you're gonna click OK. And then it's going to allow you to put it to your desktop. I'm gonna click Save. And it's going to copy every single file and put it into one folder. Okay. All right. What it's going to do is create this folder on your desktop. Yeah. As soon as you open it, you can see it's the session, including every file in the session. Yeah. All right. You're simply going to right click it and you're going to actually use a zipper in order to zip the file. And then you're going to go ahead and zip the file as a, a, a rare or a zip. It's going to create it for me. Okay. Yeah. And then you can simply use the other video where I showed you how to use WeTransfer. You're just going to drag and drop it on in there and then you can send it to whoever you need to send it to. It's that easy. It's really that simple. And now you can go check out my other video on how to transfer big files through the internet. You can transfer up to two gigabytes. You can actually send that file off to the engineer or the mastering engineer 100% free. Just drag and drop it and send it off. I'll put that video at the end of this video. I'm Rob Level. This is SmartRapper.com. I hope this helped. Please hit me with a subscribe. And you already know there's tons of other videos on my channel, but I'm gonna put some more at the end here for you right now.